This is my Shivari chair story. So I had mahogany Shivari and gold Shivari chairs. Mahogany weren't doing so well. That was a trend. I sold those off within like three years. The gold ones, they were doing well. Even when they're not in trend, they still do okay. So I had them um, at $8 a piece. I could not get them out as much as I wanted to because there was a wedding planner who was doing them for $5 a piece. So every time someone called me, they would say, well, she's doing them for $5 a piece. I'm like, well, go ahead and do them for, get them from her then. And then one year in September, we had to rescue three weddings on three different weekends because she delivered her chairs to places. And they were like, we cannot have these. These are disgusting. I'm showing the video of her chairs. These are actually her chairs. We caught them out in the wild seeing them. And her chairs were disgusting. Uh, so we had to come in with ours. And yeah, I charged the $8 a piece. Well, after that, we still had a hard time getting them out because other people were fine with her chairs, I guess. Well, she's doing them for five. So I sold all but 25 of them off. Now I do them for $12 a piece. And I get them out here and there. Nothing crazy, but they're not taking up a lot of room. So I guess... Maybe if I just waited a little longer, I would have been able to get them out more because more and more people would have found out that, yeah, her chairs are $5, but they're crap, whereas mine looked brand new. I sold them off and I don't want to buy them again because she's still out there renting them for $5. And first time customers will be renting from her, but anyone after that, which isn't that often, will never again. But... I no longer do shivari chairs.